this is me a few minutes after surgery you can see that i was super swollen and i still had the gauzes in my mouth and then this is after i took the gauzes off so the swelling was actually not that much so here i am this is right after my surgery i was home already and i'm just showing y'all i couldn't talk because my lips were numb the swelling on my cheeks um you can see that my right cheek is more swollen than my left one um so this is kind of graphic but i just want you guys to see how bad the bruising got so it was super purple my neck was all yellow so here i am showing you guys the bruises this is day one you can barely tell the bruises um this is day two and you can cut three actually and you can kind of see the bruises they're starting to appear more that's my stitch right there this is how swollen i was my cheeks are st were still very very swollen um this is how my face looked from the front and you can see my cheeks were super swollen um this is also the bruises day four um my cheeks super swollen and this is a front view of my face my cheeks again super swollen my even my nose was a little more swollen my bruises again they weren't that bad there and this is as worst as they got i believe so yeah and then this is my before picture before I, my surgery that's how my double chin looked so embarrassing and this is a recent picture i took this is after my surgery most of the swelling is gone so today is about like a month and one week after surgery like about five weeks i believe if i'm not mistaken um so i'll probably like put the before and after pictures right after this um yeah so um i did get my surgery in mexico in guadalajara just because um it, it was more convenient for me like i could go visit family and get my surgery at the same time and also it was a little bit cheaper than here in the u.s and i was originally gonna get kybella shots here in the u.s but um like all like the before and after pictures that i saw of kybella they were like with girls who had a like barely any double chin really so that's why i feel like their results were super like noticeable after like a few vials like with me i probably would have needed like five or more vials and it wasn't immediate like it was gonna take months for like the final result like a lot more months than this liposuction for the final results to finally set in and so like five vials or more in each i believe is like if i'm not mistaken like 700 if i'm not mistaken like around 700 there have to be at least yeah probably like 700 each i don't remember the price of it so that times five was already like 3500 dollars um so yeah so then i ended up like just the better like like a better way for me to get the result that i wanted and faster and cheaper in the long run was going to get was going to be to get a liposuction just a neck liposuction and i also got buccal fat pad uh my buccal fat pads removed at the same time because um like i did have like i still be do because the swelling is not completely down but i did have like well do have like um like cheeks you know like baby cheeks um so yeah and then when i smiled it was gonna be you can kind of see like the line here i still like yeah so um, i got both of those procedures done um in guadalajara i'll probably put my doctor's info down below um if you guys want to contact him um, I would say though that if you are going to get it outside of the country, well even here in the US, you should always double check that they're an actual plastic surgeon. Don't get it done with um, a dentist or anyone that's not a certified plastic surgeon. Like that's really important um, because you're, I mean honestly like you risk a lot of things like your inf an infection, like a lot of other things. So make sure they're a certified plastic surgeon and I'll leave um a website down in the description box um where you can check if your plastic surgeon is an actual plastic surgeon like a certified plastic surgeon in mexico so i'll leave it down in the description box um 
so pain um honestly the most painful part was probably the anesthesia because after there you're pretty much numb and you just don't feel i mean you'll feel maybe some pressure and like you'll hear like the cannulas inside um so they have three incisions um so this is all fibrosis by the way i'll talk about it a little bit later so i have one here you can really hear it so it's not super noticeable and then one over here and then one over here so they made three incisions um so that's where they put the little cannula in there and you can just hear it. it's like a it's a this noise is a little annoying but honestly you don't feel anything yeah so the part is the most painful part was the anesthesia um it did hurt so i mean it wasn't nothing that i couldn't handle but yeah and also for my book of fat pads the incisions were inside my mouth and you can't even tell they're there anymore they're like completely gone yeah like maybe this one just has like a little bit like a bump but it's not i can barely feel it um yeah so the anesthesia was the, the most painful part um so if you are gonna get it done in mexico i would suggest you talk to your doctor about how how, how long you should take off from work or like stuff like that i personally i was in mexico for 12 days and i worked a day after i came back so about like 13 14 days post-op i started working um without because I, I was not wearing this thing anymore the little neck thing this is not the one he gave me but this is the one he gave me um i wasn't wearing it anymore i was only wearing it to when i was sleeping at that point so yeah um but i would say if you're gonna get it done in the u.s you should wait like three days um i personally bruised a lot um so you should keep that in mind because they do look like i mean it's all over your neck they do look kind of like you know sus um so yeah and then the final result is nine so three months from now so even like my vocal fat packs are still going down the swelling the lymphatic drainage um even though my holes are like closed now you still have to like massage your, your face and stuff um so yeah um and the nurse was really nice she was like holding my hand even though i wasn't feeling anything but it's just nerve-wracking to like especially because it was i got local anesthesia so i wasn't sedating or anything so i was like still awake and well he had like the candle over here and i could see it there was like blood but i'm not easily like disgusted so um yeah um yeah so another important thing is so the surgery is you'll probably see results like from your double chin pretty like right after surgery but the final result is not until three months from that and it's very important to get your um lymphatic massages to like drain everything out and even after your holes are closed it's really important to do the the ultrasound massages with this little thing i got this one i don't think they sell it here in the u.s but this is um it was about i think like 60 dollars like in u.s dollars so in pesos it was like 1500 pesos or something around there i don't really remember and it's right here it's three high low medium and it's and i have this uh gel for the ultrasound to work so it's very very important to get this because honestly like even today you know i haven't done my massages in like two weeks which i mean sorry two days i should do them every day but it makes such a difference like you will see like it makes it more firmer like it's all this fibrosis goes down every time you massage it so you can kind of see like i do have fibrosis right here so that i have to like massage every day and use this so it's slowly gonna start going away once i'm like mm, consistent with them so from the side you can kind of see right here there's a little bump which is just i'm um, to massage it away so that's the thing like if you're not willing to commit to the massages um i would say think twice about it um yeah so you just have to massage which kind of like if i go like this you kind of it look, kind of looks like a double chin but it's really just and it's still a little bit sensitive um to this day like like if i were to hit it like it will there's a little bit of like pain 
but nothing that like if you touch it like honestly like probably about a week or two ago i started to get all like touch right here and i had a lot of loose skin mind you because i did have like pretty like big double chin for like my weight and my my height everything it was pretty big so the doctor was telling me it was probably genetic but nobody in my family like immediate family really has it so i don't really know where it came from maybe it's just the way i carry the weight like it goes to my face i don't really know yeah so this is gonna start going away soon you can't really tell like i feel like you can tell right now because of the lighting and everything but if when i'm out and about like <sighs> yeah so this is very important and i think that's oh the price so i paid about um I, it was the conversion is about a thousand dollars plus the massages which you should get and those are separate and then your masseuse or whatever does them should be able to tell you the price so i paid about a thousand us dollars um yeah but i'm not sure about the price because i did make my appointment last year so like fall last year so maybe his prices have changed um you should inquire with other plastic surgeons though um but that's around like the price i think yeah 